Dorothy Fine, find favor in your sight. Lord, yes, Lord, please hear my heart's cry. I'm desperately waiting to be where you are. Across the fairy deserts to see you near or far for your glory, glory, glory. I would do, would do anything just to see you, see you, see you, to behold you as my king for your glory, Lord. I will do anything just to see you, to be old, you are my king, I want to be where you are, I want to be where you are, love is where you are, I want to be where you are. For your glory, glory, I would do, would do anything just to see you, see you, see you, to behold you as my king. For your glory, Lord, I would do, would do anything just to see you, see you, see you. To behold you as my king, I want to be where you are, peace is where you are, love is where you are, I want to be where you are, Lord, if I find favor in your sight, Lord, Yes, Lord, please hear my heart cry. I'm desperately waiting to be where you are. Across the fairy desert to see you near or far. For your glory, 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 I would do anything. Just to see you, see you, see you, to behold you as my king. For your glory, Lord, I would do anything. Just to see you, to behold you as my king. I want to be where you are. I want to be where you are, peace is where you are, joy is where you are, so I want to be where you are, I want to be where you are, I want to be where you are, I want to be where you are. Yes, welcome once again. It's your favorite program, A Chapter A Day, aka a card for short. On here, we get to know who we are in Christ, the power he possesses, the things we can and cannot do, so that we can live a successful Christian life here on earth and end up spending eternity with God in heaven. Heaven in view, that's the whole idea. And in the process, we create a King James Version audio Bible, and then we get to study the Word of God together. Making it a practical reality so that you don't just see like some storybook, like some book that is for the old people. It's a book that is for every single person and it captures every single life. Welcome, welcome, welcome once again, Mom Tipa Melvis. Of course, we want to be where God is. Peace is where God is. Joy is where God is. Mercy is where God is. I mean, just think of all these amazing things. That's where God is and that's where we should be where God is. Of course, boldness is where God is. I love that one. It's like God is telling you that write that for me. 
write that for princess write that in the comment section oh my mommy's in the building welcome mommy mabel god bless you thank you for coming through i love you so 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 very much and yes bonus lately i kind of need bonus to do a lot of stuff which i've been shying away from like so bonus is where god is i think that i think that seriously it's not a joke like i said God wanted you to say that for me, so I'm taking it to heart. And thank you so much for always being here. Of course, on a chapter a day, we get to do a lot of stuff. But for the most part, we pray and pray and pray like there's no tomorrow. We hand over the session to God, that's prayers. We do the birthday party, which is wishing a lot of people that are in our birthday book, happy birthday. And then we pray for every person who is born on that day. So prayers again then we get to do a chapter a day after doing a chapter a day we now get to pray for something that god gives us to pray for it could be something that we had throughout the day it could be something that he gives us while we're studying the chapter it could be something that he gives us when we're just uh, maybe uh, going through our day and then lord the lord wants to tell us some things and then he might use nature he might use people around you he might use whatever you're going through maybe the situation you're going through and he can speak to you in a very special way so i'm glad you all are connected today i'm really really grateful and i pray that god is going to bless each and every one of you tremendously like i said please don't feel held back when you come on here and the holy spirit is putting something in your heart to say please for the love of god go ahead and put it there like i said mom tipper melvis was just putting things in here and of course she didn't know that what she was going to put was going to hit me hard like was going to be for me it's like god has been saying be bold i've given you the spirit of boldness and of a sound mind and it looks like that scripture is not coming to life but just see now boldness is where you are it hit me it really really got to me like differently but i've been reading that scripture a lot of times right so don't don't feel held back if god is telling you to put something in the comment section by all means please put it there it might not be for me it might be somebody in my audience but you don't have an opportunity to be able to connect to that person and when they watch this video it's going to bring transformation to their lives oh my god the man of god is in the house oh my god everybody is here welcome mr tipa elvis thank you thank you thank you for coming god bless you sir and i'm really glad that you're here today <laughs> so yeah so don't you can also request to come live that's another one so we can put a face to the name and like i said sometimes some people get worked up because when they come we're already talking about god 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 it's all about god the focus is jesus christ here on the chapter i did that's exactly what it is about as much as we're creating an audio bible as much as we're studying the word of god together as much as we're wishing people happy birthday and all of that the focus is jesus christ so you don't necessarily have to put in something that has to do with the chapter that we're reading because some people get in when we're already gone halfway when we're already gone past reading the chapter so they don't know which chapter we're reading but they just know we're saying things that are from the bible right so god might actually be telling you to say something maybe you had it during your quiet time maybe you had it while you're going through the day maybe it's just some word that god put to you and then you come on a chapter a day your heart like the holy spirit is pressing it on your heart to put it here please by all means don't hesitate put it in here and bless us i always desire that we all can participate in any way possible but by the ways for today our Bible party is taken from the book of Psalms 112. The chapter we're reading for today is Psalms 112, and it has 10 verses. Like, like we always say on the chapter a day, you never know. Some of these short chapters are the ones that are kind of like loaded with a whole lot. God tells us a whole lot through these chapters. Meanwhile, some of the very long ones, not so much, you know. So you can never just say, oh, this is going to be a short one because it's just 10 verses or 5 verses. You get up, you get to find out that sometimes we end up being here for 2 hours, which is not very usual. As opposed to like the 1 hour or 45 minutes thereabout or averagely 1 hour, 1 hour, 30 minutes. But sometimes we get to like 2 hours and it's just God releasing and releasing Rema through something 
through stories, through our testimonies. And of course, you can also bring your testimony. The Bible says, overcame them by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. So your testimony is also so very, 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 very super important. Okay? So let's go. Let's pray a hand over the session to God. Father, we thank you for this day that you've made. We rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for fighting our sin and unseen battles. We thank you for taking us throughout this day. For those of us who are in this area, we thank you for taking us out and bringing us back safely. That is just making your word practical. That says our going out and coming in is blessed. We are grateful, O oh God, that you took us out strong, healthy, kicking, and you brought us back strong, healthy, kicking. And we're here, O oh God, to fellowship and have a great communion with you through studying the word. Lord, whenever your children always come before your throne of grace, they always receive power, they always receive strength, they always receive that which you've prepared, and it's never, never anything small, it's always something great, it's always a balanced diet, oh God. Father, we've come to sup and dine with you again, and we know that we're never going to go back the same. Speak to us as a father will speak to his children. Lord, I know that only you can meet our expectations individually regardless of how many of us are because manifest expectations but manifestations so we know there's going to be lots and lots of manifestations today through and in and around the lives of those who are going to be coming here with expectations thank you lord god because we know you always hear an answer lord increase while i decrease so it's going to be you and you alone that will be seen felt, heard, and experienced throughout this edition of a chapter a day. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And all the saints shall say a ginormous amen, amen, and uh, amen. So guys, let's go. It's birthday party time in Bible party. <laughs> So don't get it don't get it mixed up, okay? It's birthday party time through Bible party. So I'm wishing a lot of people happy birthday today, people who are born on this particular day. The first person is Mr. Somto Chuku. Mr. Somto Chuku, we actually met on Facebook. And I think we eventually met physically when I went to Nigeria. It's a very good friend of mine. Always encourages me on the things I do. Supports my work in every single way. I'm really, really grateful. That has been one friend turned brother that has stood the test of time. Like, we've been friends for us forever, forever. And, of course, we don't chat as often as we used to before but every single time that we have an opportunity to have a conversation with each other it's just brilliant it's beautiful when you connect with people who love god and people who are serving god and people who stand for the same things you stand for believe the same things you have you believe in it's easy to have a conversation with that kind of person is easy and it's very beautiful but when you are having this conversation with people that don't understand what you're saying they don't believe you have to explain yourself over and over and some of them they have their minds made up not to understand you so it's stressful it is strainers i mean like totally and completely strainers and it's not very funny happy birthday to you the next person is mr george angle charisma i got to know him as well on facebook and we eventually got to meet each other physically he's an author he's a coach he's a pastor he keeps refusing that he's not a pastor anyway <laughs> he's a preacher of the word and he's a lover of god and he's a very disciplined person as well which is very good he's always the one who calls me to other most of the times like princess this one nada princess tell me tell me for real what is going on like i'm like i'm talking faith sir and he's like i want to know the real real what is going on i'm like the Bible says, let the weak say I'm strong. So me, I'm saying I'm strong. Like, why would you want me to go on confessing that I'm weak, right? <laughs> Don't we all have those kinds of friends who really, really want to know how we're doing? Like, really, really, princess, really, really, how are you doing? Like that. That's Mr. George Angle Charisma for you. And I like the way he always preaches the gospel. I like the way he writes, you know. He writes really great. And... He puts a lot of fun and twist to some things. He has some really amazing quotes that he always puts on his WhatsApp status that are very fun. Like, they're very funny, but you learn a lot through those things. And he also has a lot of trainings that he does um, seasonally. I don't know if it's monthly or it's quarterly or it's bi-monthly or it's, I don't know. 
I really can't remember exactly, but if you go to his page, of course, you know exactly all that he does. And you can also find out where his books are available and you buy them and thank me later. The next person is Mr. Gerard Mumbari. Mr. Gerard Mumbari, we actually got connected when we were in high school. This, we went to the same high school together. He was a very calm, quiet person and very composed. And of course, scientists are always very quiet and calm and composed, right? But... When he's amongst the people, like just the thing that I was talking about being a Christian, when you're amongst people that you people kind of like connect with the same things, relate with the same things, it's easy to have a conversation. It's easy to come off like a talkative because it's your thing. It's what you like, right? So you can easily talk about it. Meanwhile, if you go to a place where they're talking about things that you're not interested in or things that you have no clue about, it's going to be like you're an introvert. It's going to be like someone who doesn't talk. But do I really get to be in such scenarios where I feel like I don't know what to say? Mm, not so much. It's really hard. Except I don't just want to bore people. But I think I always kind of like twist things or tweak things to, to be in a way that I like it so that I can have something to contribute wherever I am like that. So yeah. Happy birthday to you. And then the next person is Mom Jane Francis. We actually got to meet when I was in secondary school. She was like a class or two ahead of me. And she's a very pretty person. Very pretty. Not just outside. Inside out. And of course, she's also a lover of God. She's also one of those people that supports the things I do. And of course, you know about Sekaris, right? We have this broad, pretty smiles that God just dished out on us when he was creating us in heaven. <laughs> he just said, Sekaris this way and then he just released laughter and smiles on us and we're just like everywhere we have this bold broad smiles on our faces and people keep wondering like what's going on like what is happening to these girls you guys cannot get it it's just a god thing with us <laughs> anyways the next there are lots of people today on the birthday book guys the next person is mom christy udo and mom joy udo so i knew the udos through their Oh, through Christy, actually. I knew the Udos through Christy. And then I became way, way closer to Debbie, the youngest one. I became way, way closer to Debbie. But yes, I knew all of them through Christy. So Christy was working for one of my dads. When my biological dad died, God gave me several dads. And so you guys should get used to. And I talk about my dad. So when I'm talking about my dad, I, I, I wouldn't say my dad here or there, there. I just say my dad. So... Some people who know me will be like, Dad, isn't your dad late? You guys cannot get it. So just bear with me. Take it. My dad. <laughs> so through one of my dads, that's how I got to know Christy. And uh, we actually lived together for some time. She took me to really nice places. Of course, you know, people that take me to eat and stuff like that. Yeah, place they... <laughs> Because I like to eat, I like food. But people always get mad at me because it's like, when when I eat, they get fat on my behalf. Like, I eat and I don't increase in size or something. Food doesn't make me fat. Well, that's what I'm trying to say, if you didn't get it the first time. So, that's one of my younger sisters. She says, when she just, it looks like she just looks at food and she grows fat. So, she doesn't understand. Is it that I'm the one eating and then she's growing fat on my behalf or what is going on? <laughs> so... Mom Christy took me to really nice places. I got to connect with their family. They're a set of amazing people. Joy herself is just super amazing. I mean, we did some of these trainings together. Um, single but not stupid. And then they grew to mold Africa, you know, like that. So we had been together, had these trainings together, had some really amazing sessions together, worked together, lived together. Yeah, we actually lived together for like maybe two days. But I've lived with Christy for longer. And I've lived with Debbie, Christy and Debbie for longer than Joy. But today is for Joy and Christy. And the funny thing about these two is they're sisters. One is an elder sister, one is a younger sister. But it's so intriguing that they were born on the same day, right? It's so cool. Oh, this is so cool. I like it. Like, it's really nice. So, some years after they gave birth to the all the one they gave birth to the younger one on the same day they had the same birthday that's cool but somehow we'll be having 
instead of like in my house since we're celebrating everybody's birthday instead of us having two birthdays like <laughs> we have just one because two people were born on one day can you imagine what i'm thinking about lord please let me be having a time of my life i beg <laughs> so it'll be two birthdays happy birthday to you christy and joy um, Christy is now an amazing wife, an amazing mother, an amazing friend. She's also a lover of God. She's an orator as well. And she's doing really, really great works wherever she is. Joy actually is also a lover of God. And she's just this person with a great soul. She wants to help everybody as much as she can. Sometimes even beyond her capacity, which can even break her. But she still goes ahead and does it right so the next person is mom gloria and nick bata mom gloria and nick bata is one of my friends that we met when i was in secondary school no we met when i was in the university when i went to the university not my university in my country my university in ghana actually we actually met at the university in ghana and we had a very great time she was a nigerian a lot of people always believe that i'm a nigerian why because they know that my country is a French country. I don't know where people got that from. I don't know why they believe that totally and completely. My country is bilingual. It's not a French country. So they're surprised. They can never. People have hardly. I, I don't think there's anybody who has ever got it right. Apart from somebody who really knows me and probably is from my country. I don't think anybody has ever gotten it right because everybody the first place they always think automatically is Nigeria. After that, they do South Africa, they do Kenya, and then what else do they do for me? People hardly ever choose me with my country. I know people will be like, so what is the country? You guys should guess. That's the whole thing. <laughs> I think that's what I'm saying. Um, it's you people that cost money. <laughs> Little is nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Please, we're not the ones. It's Lord's children who used to do that thing. Our Lady of Lords. It's not us, I beg. It's not us. <laughs> so, I met Man Gloria there. She's also a lover of God. She serves God in a very special way. She's the one that I'll never forget. There were some things she wasn't doing as a child of God that I was doing then. And I was asking myself, like, why? So, I asked her. And then this is what she said, which changed my life forever because it, it looks like God had me to meet her and let her say that thing to me because he was going to take me to that same kind of place. There are some things that I don't do that are not sinful, but God would not have me do them. And when people, other Christians who are doing it, see me, they feel awkward like I was feeling too before. Before I understood that, that's why it's important to have a personal relationship with God so that you know the things that God will have you do and the things that God will not want you to do. Like I say, God always tells me that I want you to do the God thing, not just the good thing. So you can be doing something that is good, but it's not a God thing. That is not what God wants you to do. So you don't want to be in that position. God diligently rewards those who seek him. And if you're seeking him, you have to do what he wants, to, wants you to do, right? So yes, there are good things and there are God things. And this is what she said to me. She said, when you have a personal relationship with God, you get to a place where there are some things that are like God wants you to leave them, to let go of them as a sacrifice. For your relationship with him, you would have not to do those things. They are not bad things, but you would not have to do it. Oh, there are lots and lots of those things. There are lots and lots of those things. It, this one that is just glaring it's like it's totally glaring if you look at me right now you're gonna see that it's very obvious a lot of people get to ask me those questions and i'm like well based on personal relationship with god he doesn't want me doing those things but if you're asking me what i seen or not i don't believe it is i don't think it is but if you have a personal relationship with god there are just some things that god is going to tell you to do or not to do and of course, you know how Jesus cried, right? Says, God, if this cup will not pass from me, let not my will but yours be done. Like he knew it was painful. It was hurtful. He really didn't want to go through it. Like based on that statement, he really didn't want to go through it. But then in the final analysis, you know that when God's will is done, everything will be beautiful. Like everything will be amazing. So he had to call on God and say, Lord, 
that's not my will but yours be done no matter how painful this is no matter how heavy this cross is no matter how i mean how it feels like i really don't want to do this thing but lord let your will be done so that's my gloria for you and that's what she said to me and it has helped me to be able to live my life confidently and feel um okay in doing what i have to do because people don't think it normal people think you should do this one you should do this one. at least just this one and i'm like go ahead i said i won't do it so you push no butter when i your boy beans with candle the beans no good done so just let it slide i'm not this one is we don't dispute it when god has confirmed something to me it's not up for discussion it's not up for debate <laughs> i know what god has said to me and i know where i'm coming from i know where god has brought me from so i don't play with things that god said to me except he says otherwise because he also taught me the hard way through the young and the old prophet in first kings 13 where i used to have this weird mentality i don't know where it came from but i just had it if you're older than me age wise if you're older than me in the faith if you actually have a leadership position maybe a pastor a leader or something something whatever you say is true is right and god had to take me through with the young and the old prophet scenario and my body was broken i couldn't believe it like what like like for real and then the curse still came out from the prophet's mouth <laughs> so like i said i said a lot of people have always had issues with with god with something that god said and then they ended up saying lord was sorry and god had mercy on them so i think because this prophet had lied before so when he now gave the curse the boy just believed he was a liar so he's probably still lying meanwhile it wasn't a lie there is no harm in praying against something there's no harm in crying out for mercy if you didn't need mercy it's fine you're safe as opposed to not just crying out for mercy and then you needed mercy you'll be in trouble so even if that prophet was lying which i think that's what was going through the young prophet's mind that's why he didn't ask for mercy even if he was lying there's no harm in praying and saying lord if this thing is real please have mercy on me and let it not happen and then maybe it was not even going to happen in the first place the prayer wasn't wasted than not just praying it as he didn't and then he went and it happened my god you should have even pitied him now that the old prophet like you'd have even god is just though his justice works when he has to work as much as his love works when he has to work so we need to be careful we need to be alert and then the next person is Pastor Samuel Olabenjo. Pastor Samuel Olabenjo, I actually got to know him through a mutual friend and he's on here. He talks about some of these things that people are scared to talk about, especially when it comes to relationship, marriage especially. You know, it's like talking about sex and the desires and stuff like that in marriage looks like it's an abomination or it's a taboo it's like husband and wife won't talk about it they're just acting you're not getting the desire you want and there's a possibility of you getting the desire you want but it's just like it's a taboo if you say some of those kinds of things or if you guys have to come to a consensus or if you guys have to go learn about it it's not a bad thing it was made by god and if you can learn ways and strategies and techniques to enhance that thing to enjoy it to the best of your ability you would don't we go to school to study to be the best of us that god has created us to be maybe i'm i'm, I'm born to be an accountant wouldn't i go to school to study to be one of the best accountants i study so of course if there is something that you can do to 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 enhance your sexual life as a couple why not well Pastor Samuel Lagbenjo does that really, really well. He always has trainings. He always has seminars. He's also the author of several books as well on that. So you can get on with him and you thank me later. So stop acting like it's a taboo. There are some things that in the Christendom we have to be comfortable to talk about them so that people will not lose out on the beauty that those things have. Those things can give to them. But because it's like some no go, no talk about, people are suffering in silence, which is bad. So thanks to Pastor Samuel who has braved the odds and he says he doesn't care what people think or what people say. He's going to help some of these people that need help 
but they don't want to ask for help. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, Pastor Samuel. The next person is Mom Angie Kengla. Mom Angie, we actually got to take her together as well. She's also a very calm and reserved person, but sometimes she can talk. We kind of disconnected when I was, uh, when I left Seca, like in secondary school. And then I went to high school at GBHS. And then um, we reconnected again on our extra association group. I believe that's where we were connected. Happy birthday to you. The next person is Mambi Jacinta. I've forgotten her twin sister's name. She's a twin. Happy birthday to you. You both. I used to get really, really confused between two of them. So I don't know which one is which one. Um... Happy birthday to you both. But I actually really, really knew Jacinta. Kind of like the person that I really connected with and related with much more was Jacinta because she was kind of in my class. I think her sister was doing... They both did sciences. But I was kind of more closer to B than her, than her sister. So happy birthday to you both. They are also these persons that would encourage me and support me on everything that I do. Thank you so much. And then the next person is Mom Karin. I got to connect with her when we we're on um, virtual single mothers. I'm not a single mother, but I was added to that group because I was supposed to do a certain session with the ladies. And then I noticed that there were nice things happening in the group, so I just didn't leave the group. <laughs> virtual single mothers who are in that group. And so that's where I met Mom Karin. She's a lover of God. She served God with all her heart. And she's really doing God really, really great. Happy birthday to you, Mom Karine, and God bless you. So that has been it today for the birthday book. Whoa, it almost took all of the chapter a day. Happy birthday to you, Mr. Somto Chuku. Happy birthday to you, Pastor Coach George Angu Charisma. Happy birthday to you, Mr. Gerard Mumbari. Happy birthday to you, Mom Jane Francis. Happy birthday to you, Christy and Joy Udo. Happy birthday to you, Mom Gloria Anik Bata. Happy birthday to you, Pastor Samuel Olakbenjo. Happy birthday to you, Mom Anjan Kengla. Happy birthday to you, Mom B. Jacinta and your twin sister. Happy birthday to you, Mom Karine. Happy birthday to all the birthdayans. And yes, right now, we're going to pray for the birthday people. And we are trusting that. You, yes, you who is getting born right now, you probably watch this video some four years or five years if Christ starts to come. With our generation, the way it's going, maybe three years old, we'll be able to sc scroll through, search stuff on internet in eventual years, in some few years to come. So, whenever you see this, I'm praying for you too. So, I'm not just praying only for the people who are in the birthday book, I'm praying for every single person who he's born today okay so let's pray for them and then we'll get back on with our bible party our bible party again is taken from the book of sounds 1 1 2 112 and he has 10 verses so let's get right on and pray for the birthday people father we thank you for all these amazing people who were born today we pray oh god that you open the windows of heaven and release the choices of your blessings upon their lives and rebuke every devourer from their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to do for them that which no man can do, O oh God. Open doors to them that no man can shut and shut every door that is not of you. Deal with every adversary behind the open doors when you open for them so that they're going to march in gallantly and enjoy all that you have in store for them behind such closed doors. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you cause them to increase in wisdom and stature. Gaining favor before God and before men, O oh Lord. That your gifts will make a way for them, causing them to stand before kings, not before mean men. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to tremendously guide them and lead them, O oh God, to the place where you would have them go. Lord, I pray that you cause them to be trailblazers, space setters, and wall changers in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, that they would do only that which you've called them to do. As they go on fulfilling purpose and doing their bid, O oh God, Father, if it gets to a place where they feel overwhelmed, they feel like they want to give up or back out, don't hear a loud, clean, clear voice that's going to say, this is the way, walk thou in it. They will not derail, they will not stray the path, they will stay on course. And after it all, glory be given unto your holy name, O God. Father, that you use them as the ones that are 
that mm. will manifest to the growing nation that is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God, oh God. Father, that people will see your good works in their lives and glorify your Father who is in heaven. People will see your good works in their lives and want to know you more. People will see their good works in their lives and want to get to know you. They'll just want to get to love you and relate with you really, really awesomely. Lord, that you're going to make this one a living epistle, bread right of men. That their lives are going to probably be the Bible, the only Bible that some people will ever read, oh God. Father, I pray, oh God, that you're going to guide them. You're going to lead them. Perfect all that contents them. Give them a Psalm 226 state, a state of continuous laughter, singing, rejoicing, jubilating, and dancing. And if you tarry to come, Lord, by your grace, they'll be here same time next year, testifying of all the awesome and amazing things that you've done in their lives. Because this, this right here, is going to be their best birthday yet. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that their light is going, their path is going to keep shining brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. Let your word be a lamb unto their feet and a light to their part, to guide them and lead them aright, so they won't miss it. They will not back up, they will not back out. They will stay on course and do your work and do your will, all for your glory, all for the glory of your Father, Jesus Christ. Lord, write beautiful stories upon their lives, even as you open this pages of their lives today oh god give them a reason to smile cause them to stand out and not fit in every single person who was created with a purpose was created to stand out lord i pray that they will not feel discouraged they will not feel trapped they will not feel downcasted lord they're gonna feel way way amazing and awesome to be able to get up and do the things that you want them to do lord we say thank you we appreciate you lord we pray, oh God, that you give them all the reasons to want to come and testify again because you do awesome such things in their lives, all for your glory. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Let money meet money in their pockets. Blessings meet blessings in their lives. Favor meets favor in their lives. Even as you clothe them with a garment of praise, honor, and favor in the mighty and blessed name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. And all the saints shall say a dynamis. Amen, amen, and amen. But I sing the amen. 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 Let it be so. Amen, 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 amen. In their lives. Amen. I see I've prayed. Amen. Let it be in their lives. Let it be so. Amen. 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 In their lives. Amen. I see I've prayed. Amen. Let it be in their lives. Amen. Let it be in their lives. Come on. Come on. Amen. Let it be in their lives. God bless you all tremendously. May increase your band, enlarge your cause, and bless you with blessings beyond your reasonable understanding. When you call, you will answer. Before you even call, you will answer. And when you cry out, he's going to hear. May God divinely connect you with people and things that will be make you be your best and divinely disconnect you from people and things that will cause you to stagnate. May the good Lord do beyond what you can think or imagine may enlarge and open your eyes to see those you're supposed to be destiny helpers to so you help these people and of course may he also surround you with your own destiny helpers so when you need help help is going to be made available to you i always get to say i love you so very much but god loves you way way more have a blast happy birthday Yes, Mom to Papa Mavis is always singing. <laughs> Happy birthday to everyone. Let's get the Bible party started. Are you ready? Ready or not, here I come. Let's go. Let's do this. Dun, dun, dun. Everybody. Dun, dun, dun. Come on. Dun, dun, dun. Let's do this. Okay, let's go. Psalm 112. Praise the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endure forever. Unto the upright there ariseth light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. 
A good man showeth favor and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid. Until he see his desire upon his enemies, he hath dispersed, he hath given to the poor. His righteousness endureth forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. The wicked shall see it and be grieved. He shall gnash with his teeth and melt away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. This is the word of the Lord. And all the saints shall say, thanks be to God. Okay, so people, let's bring it home. What did you learn? What did you learn? What did you learn from this scripture we just read? The first time we read it is because we're creating an audio Bible. So don't mind that I was just reading and not even bothering what you all were doing. <laughs> Princess on the beat. I know, right? <laughs> something else <laughs> okay so let's go what did you learn see all of the psalms is doing praise 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 like i told you all we have something that is going to happen the day we're reading psalms 150 so you guys should just get ready and be sure that you're going to be tremendously blessed right so we're waiting for one of you please tell everybody tell everybody ready the day that you see us do psalms 149 know that Psalms 150 is going to be the bomb. It's going to be the blast. So tell every single person that a chapter a day, Psalms 150 is going to be, oh my God. Oh my God. Anyway, welcome Minister Mark. We are glad to have you back. We've missed you. Ned, we're going to do this to us now. Where, Papa? Yeah, picking them. <laughs> oh, we can hear you now. Okay. Originally, we didn't hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. Originally, we're not hearing you. Oh, wow. How was it? Can you also see me? Yeah, we can see you. Oh, I can see you. I don't know about those in the comment section and all, but I can see you. Hi, Maggie. I'm a local yes, hero. You're not a local hero. I'm not a local hero. You're not a local hero. You're a hero. If you know the crowd, you know, when people brag about having followers on Facebook, we have followers in the village. You have physical followers. <laughs> you have physical followers. And that's important. Because of all these Facebook followers, they will not trust them. <laughs> they can't be trusted. Oh, yeah. It went so well. It went so well. I thank God. Twenty speaking, verse one. Verse one just speaks to me, right? Oh, my God. Yeah. Because yeah, so. I do it all out of reverence for God, out of love. For me, mm -hmm. this fear God here yeah, actually means love God in such yeah. a way that you you, yeah, you obey him, you know, joyfully, willfully. It's, it's so what it is. That's what it is for me. And because he's so almighty, he's so everything. So we have to. We cannot just do anyhow with God. So, I know. Or if you want to serve him, and go to this village, I have someone go. Come I know. Come back, come back. Go there, go there. Go up, come down. And God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So you know, you know, like God is the best employer ever. God employs you. <laughs> Be ready. He will wow you. Like he will so wow you. As you keep obeying, he will wow you. That's God for you. Amen. Oh, yeah. yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. And so he says here that, and fear the Lord. So just like Minister Mark has said, the fear there is not like frightened or you're afraid or something. It's about reverence. It's about like honoring God, obeying God, respecting God, listening to what he's saying, you know, 
That's what this is about. So let's not get it twisted. Let's not get it all mixed up. No. And it says that delighted greatly in his commandments. If you delight in someone's commandments, it means you obey them. Now. Whatever he tells you, you obey. Okay? Is that not how they say it? Delighting in something. If you delight in something, it means you're happy to do it. Anytime that they tell you that, oh, do this thing, you're happy to do it. So if God is telling you now that do this, you're doing it. If God is telling you do that, you're doing that. And you're doing it happily, with joyfully. Bible says that um, he wants people who are giving and giving with a joyful dispensation. See? The way you give, oh, it matters, oh. Don't come and give grudgingly. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. God does not want. No. He loves a cheerful giver. No. So it's that same way. He wants a cheerful person who obeys the commandment. He doesn't just want you to obey the commandment. He wants you to obey it happily, with delight, with, with joy, <laughs> you know. You know, Jay, he gave me, he gave me uh, another assignment. to the children uh, i can imagine right uh, i was in the classroom when he when i when i received it and i just started to cry you know and about this this is a very big i mean and if he did not trust you he wouldn't give it to you so instead of being afraid pray yeah. that he, he 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 warms up your heart to the assignment and he puts people on your path, you know, mm -hmm. who will do this with you. Yeah. Pray for that. And then he started to pray. I prayed in the spirit, you know, I was just praying. I was still crying, but I was praying and I started to smile. And then I heard, you can now open up to partners. And I was so happy. And he told me who to write to. And I've already written to the people. Oh, yeah. I even spoken with one of them already. That's beautiful. See you. Yeah. Somebody mm -hmm. said something that if it's not, not bigger than you, then it's not God because where's the place of God in the thing? <laughs> if it's just yeah. something that we can normally, normally do, it's you. But when it's bigger than you, you said you realize that you want big past me, eh? No, say God, they involved. <laughs> because you the would thing keep be bigger running back to Him. Uh, when you hook, now only for God, you go run to you. Like that. Because you don't have anywhere else to go to you don't have anywhere else where you know the solution is it's only with god so when it's not big to an extent it's it's like god is not really involved basically it makes sense to me when i first of all heard it it was sounding like weird but when i sat down and thought about it it made a lot of sense a whole lot of sense and he says his seed shall be mighty upon the earth the generation of the upright shall be blessed ha <laughs> there are things that we do that will affect people that are not even born and for that singular reason we should do it right but i know that some people that are non-challenged they don't care might enjoy my life my skin they'll, they'll fight their own as they get a fight and me i fight my own me my they can't fight their own ha! abomination it's not abomination it's abomination like how can you that me in my right senses right now, I know that there are some things that I can do that my children's children, children's children, children, if Christ starts to come, will be blessed by it. I go dodge them because I want to, for some momentary words. No, I have mercy on also. Jonathan's son, Jonathan's son was, was favored by King David because of his father, right? Jonathan. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, so no, like, he didn't mean. I tell my God, I'm, I pray to God, I'm like, Papa, even if you don't look on me, your lowly servant, don't forget this voice. You know, like, firstly speaking. Hmm. If you know that there is something that you can do by your children and your children's children, 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 see David, God made a covenant with him that day. He will always have somebody on the throne, regardless. You will see how stubborn some of them came out to be. There was still somebody on the throne because of a covenant that God made with their great, great, great. If you hear some of the wickedness that some of these kings did, actually, we read the book of Kings. Some of the wickedness that some of these kings did, eh, they still had somebody that was on the throne. <laughs> somehow, somehow, somebody from the lineage of David was still on the throne, just like that. <laughs> 
Hi, my God. I'm telling you. Some people are so crazy. Some people are so weird. Like, no, I'm back home. I enjoy my life. I bet my kids don't fight their way. They fight me. I definitely fight my own. So let me live my life. No, it cannot be like that. When you have an opportunity to make your next generation say, I, I thank God for Prince. Princess. I thank God for mommy princess. I thank God for grandma princess. I thank God for great grandma princess. Hey! I beg ya. I want my name to be there. Like that. See, the, the generation of the upright shall be blessed. So me being upright has a blessing to my generation. God, help me. Help this your baby girl. Let me live an upright life so that my generation can enjoy. Hey. No, that is the greatest thing you can live in. It's not houses and cars and money in banks and all those things. Now, it's this kind of a thing like, it's what Apostle Joshua said. You leave all this ground down, Kango. Oh, I've seen no. in Dwala cases in court where people left all kinds of things. They fought and scattered and destroyed everything. Can you imagine? Mm. Meanwhile, when you're blessed, these things will naturally follow you. That's the funny thing. Mm. When you're a blessed person, blessings will naturally follow you. <laughs> hey, God. Help us. Oh. Help us to, 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 to set our priorities right so that we can get the blessings that are really due to us so that we can really I mean, I, I remember I remember some, some time ago, like some guy was talking to me. I can't remember if he was serious or he was not serious, but he sounded serious. And then we got to this part and I'm like, oh, if we don't believe in the same, like the way we, we, we love God, the way we serve God, if it's not the same, I don't think. And then he was saying, so he said something like, oh, the bomb are for the church, the bomb are for the church, the bomb are waiting, waiting, waiting for the church. So me, I did for the church now, but yeah, I go remain and everything. And I'm like, even if he, it's not blessing you, even if you're not growing spiritually, and oh, no, 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 I'm go. I say, so this has just canceled this thing, or it cannot work. And the girl was like, ah, no, yeah, I'm not going to stop you from going to your church. Or I, I'll be going to my own, you'll be going to your own. I say, eh, you, you don't, your sense don't calculate rich only for we to wear. You know, calculate rich or picking them. That our children will be born in this kind of confusion. We start making them getting confused at their young age. Confusion we know for day. Mommy says she's serving God. Daddy says she's serving God. Why are they going to different places? Why, why would we start stretching, stressing the children like that? May we two day for the same place, they serve the same God, then we'll preach the God for the picking and then the picking and choose different things. That's a different scenario altogether. But how do you start explaining to your children, to your child, that you're serving God, your husband is serving God, but both of you are not going to church together. One person to go left, one person to go right. Are you guys okay? I said, no, you cannot work. The guy said for the children, I beg we have our lives to live. I said, no, my children will have their lives to live when I'm alive. Oh. So I beg you. Just the car, what car they go? Play with the commercial, they go in this small, small. Me, I'm not, I'm not moved though. <laughs> ah, so there's some things that when you understand it, it will help you to just fizzle out the people that are coming in the name of suitors to you. But now some of us, this young generation, young girls, you don't want to know what God has called you to do. That's why you're falling for one chance, one chance, one chance every time. You are with any person, any person just say, ma. They've not even said rich. They just say ma. Maybe they even wanted to say madness. As they just say ma, yes, yeah, so yes, you have already accepted. And some of the poor guys are even confused. What's she saying yes to? <laughs> hey, God. Help us, so. May the good Lord help us. Because when you are a person of purpose, when you know what God has called you to do, my darling dearest, you the funny thing is that you first of all be in the purpose before in the place of purpose for that man will meet you. But because you're roaming to and fro, you're not the devil, though, but you're roaming to and fro. I don't know what you're roaming and looking for. That, that's why you're meeting with any kind of person. You're meeting with the Romans. As you're roaming, that's a, as you're roaming, that's how you meet with people who are also roaming. You're not the devil. Why are you roaming to and fro? She don't for one place. 
place. Be in the place of purpose. The man will meet you there. You are. Let me take a lot of us in Jesus' name. See, sometimes the thing is just paining me because you will talk and talk and talk and some people will just be like, ah, you know, see, eh, this thing, eh, we don't have a serious, we don't have a serious, so if we do serious, so we don't go feel oh, no. married. If we do serious, so we don't go feel, do this one. If we do serious, <clears throat> my dear, I saw one the beep Christianity and a beep I know. I saw the things we will get from Christianity go beep we. We will get beeping blessings, we will get beeping favor. Hope we no go complain. <laughs> you want deep favor and deep blessings. You know and go deep with God. You are still playing. You are playing by playing. You never ready. <laughs> you are not ready. You are not ready. You are not even in the place of purpose, turning around, left, right, front, back, and center, going to places that nobody sent you there, and then you're complaining why you're meeting the wrong guys. You're in the wrong places. How do you not meet the wrong guys? Who are you supposed to meet in the wrong place? It's not the wrong set of people. <laughs> but when you're in the right places, which is the place of purpose, you will meet the right kind of people. The, the like-minded people are people who are in the place of purpose. The man who has a purpose will be looking for his wife in the place of purpose. He will not be looking for his wife everywhere to and fro. No. You're wondering why men of purpose are not finding you. You're not there for purpose place. Go to the place of purpose will find you that big. <laughs> Say what and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endure forever. <laughs> See the kind of blessings that your children will enjoy. <laughs> they say, "What wealth and riches shall be in that person's house?" The one who is walking up right to God. I just know the things we are running here, that and looking for. Left, right, from back, back and center. The thing will be dwelling here. They they talk like country talk. Now English they talk for you know. Wealth and riches shall be in this person's house. God, help us. So. Help me. Oh. Help me, this baby girl. Oh. Help even me. Oh. As long as help you're in know. right standing with God. As long as you're in right standing with God. There are just some things that will fall in place. Are we saying that there will not be challenges? There will be challenges by all means. Because you're still on earth, though, there'll be challenges. But you'll be going through those challenges with a victor's mind, knowing that a uh, victory is sure. Victory is sure. And it says, Unto the upright, there arises light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. Hmm. Hey, God. Light in the darkness. See? Guys, do you know what darkness is at all? When they say darkness, more than they think like physical darkness, oh, as in night and day. <laughs> night and day. Now, Psalm, Psalm 112. It's 112, my memories. My memories is that. In his red flag. That one where the Saturday you go to my church or you go to your church. It's red flag. Oh, it's red flag. Say no, he's born again. Oh, you know, this well. We get kind, kind born again. Them. Everybody now can literally say they are born again, even the ones that are not. So you better be careful. <laughs> See, yes, light shine in, in darkness. The Bible says, and light shine in darkness, and the darkness comprehended not. Hey. That, that zombie. Like you hear that statement. <laughs> That's it. When there's light, there are just some things that cannot exist. When there's light, darkness cannot exist. So when the light of God shines upon your life, there are some things that cannot just be in your life. Whether they like it or not, they cannot just be in your life. It is obvious. And well, to accept Hello. it. So, a lot of shenanigans to be exposed. Oh, yes. Yeah. You, you see, when people expose themselves, <laughs> people give themselves away. You know, you, 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 they're gossiping about you before you step in. They did not know that you were coming. And then, I know. bam, you have heard everything. And sometimes God will even tell you said before you show up. What are you talking about? Welcome, my Melvis. Yay. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Woman of God. Welcome, my 
we're glad to have you. Please fire on, fire on. <laughs> Sorry, you. It's been a long while. Man, I've been I so know. busy with work. Jesus mm. Lord, it is. I've been so busy well. <laughs> training. It's been so intense. Oh my God! I can God. imagine. <laughs> The hey, Lord is your strength. Yeah. I hear you, ma. <laughs> the Lord is so. our shepherd. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. That's yes, right. I keep praying for I'm listening. You are firing along, so. Oh, oh my God, please. Yeah. You better come and fire for us. Don't even do that thing that you are doing there. <laughs> <laughs> they were saying that uh, when the light of God shows up in your life, honestly speaking, uh, things change. There is like drastic transformation. I mean, I mean, there's just a lot of things that disappear. If you get into a house and you put on the lights, that means you just disappear. You get mm. that's the sense of it. That's exactly how when the light of God shines upon your life, some things just disappear. You cannot find them. It's not even happening. It's not ha happening. But now, you see like places like maybe under the bed. If you look under the bed, you'll see a little bit of some places that are dark. Those are the things that God begins to remove small, small. Like your, it, it takes a process. Like there are some things that, I don't know about you, but when I just got born again, man, there were some things that I didn't just want to hear or see again. It was instant. There were some things that uh, me and God would fight pala pala. <laughs> hey. Rest like Jacob. See, before those, some of those things left, me and God would fight correct back to them. I seen. <laughs> he was like, Papa God, you wanted to go. What did they happen? I seen. At some point, I, I had to reach some places and say, God, is this my own turn in the flesh? Do you want some battle? <laughs> yes. Like, God, remove this one. It feels like he's only saying, don't worry. Don't worry. My grace is sufficient. And, and some of them went off. Some of them went off. Like, really, really off. So, when light shines in your life, when the light of God shines in your life, it makes all the difference. It makes yeah. all the difference. And the light of God comes through his word. It comes through messages. It comes through people. God can speak to you through people. But first, start by having that personal relationship with him and studying the word of God. It's very important. We can overemphasize this, can we? We cannot. The word of God is very, very vital. Very, very vital. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, like you were saying, that um, the light shines into darkness and darkness could not comprehend it. Because his life was light. His life was light. And oh, he was yeah. a light thing. You know, in Christ we have life oh, yeah. and we have light. Light that help us to see all those dark places. Light that sometimes you think this thing is right. Oh, yeah. But word mm -hmm. that is a lamp onto our feet, light onto our path. We enlighten us and we will know, you know, I like that lamp onto my feet because you you know how you you have a lamp, not this lamp here, a turukan like the lamp lamp. That one, yeah, shines, shines lamp. Yeah, it it, it it shines around you. His word is a lamp. Mm -hmm. It makes us see what is that around us. Oh yeah, and that is a light. It, it shines. That one's now goes abroad. So now his word make us to see what is that around us, a lamp onto our feet and a light onto our path. As we are going, he keeps opening doors and making which one that he wants us to go there. So oh, yeah. um, verse, verse 4 says, Unto the upright, there arises light in the darkness and is gracious and full of compassion and righteousness. A good man deals graciously and lends. He will guard his affairs with discretion. discretion. Surely he will never be shaken. The righteous will be in everlasting remembrance. He will not be afraid of evil tidings. 
his heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. He knows because of all of this, his heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Because oh, yeah. it, it, the Lord has helped him to see the dark places. And, and now with the help of the Holy Spirit, it has helped him to trust in God more. Because sometimes oh, yeah. God tells you something. And now he, he might give you a particular day and time and everything, right? But, yeah. the, but the process of getting to it, you're like, oh God, you said in 2011 that this, 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 this. Mm -hmm. And you are looking at the thing, the thing is not coming to pass. But when God has already said it, so he wants us to trust him. Like there was, there was one thing that was, was supposed to happen. Um, let, let, let me say me and, and my other good friend. So the friend has this son. The son is not talking. Like oh, wow. four, five, seven, not talking. So she, so she told me that God told her that when this boy 10, 10 years old, he will start talking. Can you imagine yeah. 10 years when uh, all your friends are talking and everything? And this, and, and the child was like a lunatic. You know, but God told her oh, that at 10 years old, this child will be fine. We'll be talking and everything. So she has been, so, so she always called me every now and then. I'm saying, oh, please pray for my son. Pray for my son. Pray for my son. And she'll be crying and things mm -hmm. like that. And uh, and and now when she told me, I just told her, keep trusting. Guess what? Today she called me. Her son is 10 years old today. That child behavior is what? normal. The child is talking. Like the child, she called me just like it was this so morning, just two hours ago. Oh she my God. Me. She said, oh my God, my son is behaving normal. He does not pull on himself anymore. He knows how to change his clothes. He's talking to his sisters. He's, she was just telling me on and on and on and on. So I told her that, <laughs> yeah. So I we were like, so, that dream. yeah, I told her that, do you remember? When he told me that God told you that when he was 10, he 10 years old, 10? talking, he, then it clicks now. She said, oh, it's true. You know, Can you imagine? God is faithful. He cannot God fail. Is faithful. God doesn't say anything from back today anyways. <laughs> see, see, when she told me to, then when she called me, I said, oh, my plus is... Um, 10 years old and the child behaving normal you know he does not put himself anymore he has a full discussion with his and just kept going oh my on, God. And on and on and i reminded her about it she was like oh my god yeah trust the process yeah trust yes. the process if god had was, said it then he would do it it was not easy every time she would call me pray for my son she said oh, no I went out of the heart. He just went to the road. Oh, and, like she just to call me and cry and cry and cry and cry and cry. Like she, and you know, we post God in the end. Hey, <laughs> God, I'm talking that talk. You know, we post God in the end. No way, it is well. God just, help us. So. Just help us. Just fast that she has cut, bind, and loose. I God know. bless you 10 years. So you can cast all you can and bind all you bind. Ten years is ten years. It's clear that God it's, is faithful. When He says yeah. a thing, you just need to trust it. I said, God, I don't know how this thing is going to work. If you said, I'm going to trust it. Yeah. Um, I, I was just so happy when she yeah. called me this morning, and she was just telling me about the son that the child is behaving well, having a full discussion, conversation. I'm like, that's God wow. for you. Yeah. That's that is. God for you. When they say God for you, mm -hmm. hey, I said today, hey, God don't mean business when we're back with you. Like you started, we, we were singing now. You remember when you were singing, when you were writing the song in the this year, I told you about right. boldness. <laughs> right. I was right. like, oh God. Even this particular thing you're saying right now, ask me, Mr. Mark, now we just, we're just from talking. When we just from talking on WhatsApp, what was I doing? Is this not all the things that she's saying here? Like almost. Just word for word repeat of what she said to me while I was complaining and it was like I was, my heart was just going to explode <laughs> and she was like 
God has spoken. You just have to come down. It will happen. I'm like, no. My human chat is getting the best of me. I beg you. It's not funny. You know, people have got the ano. Thank God. Hey, God. Thank God I talk it in. I talk it in. Trust the process. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, like, when we say they trust the process, I think it's easy. That's what I always say on the chapter today. That sometimes, uh, a lot of people who come and re- listen and watch will look at us and be like, oh, you guys already have this thing figured out. You know, you guys already have this your relationship with God, so you don't right. you don't mm-hmm. get those moments where you feel like, oh, God, this is the one eh, I know your feet. Like, I know your feet. Papa God, you don't too much. Like, they don't think we can have those moments. Hmm. Hey, hey, not ever fool yourself. Maybe one minute, something not for you say, hey, we don't get to those points. Like, because the enemy will push you as much as he will push as much as he can push until you get there. Mm. He will push as much as he can push until you get there. But the good thing about being a child of God and being connected to God and having a relationship with God is that uh, his grace truly is sufficient for you. In these ways, like he's doing it right now, he before when we started, you mentioned that thing in the in the in the chat, and I was like, oh, it's like God just made you put that thing there for me. That's it for me. Minister Mark had already spoken to me before I came here. This is you again repeating the same the same thing on this live stream. What are you talking about? Bible says, hey, once I see spoken twice, I see here. So now you don't talk how many times? <laughs> I never <laughs> done here how many times. <laughs> But I don't hear no, I, I surrender. <laughs> wow, that is a small matter. I think it was really weighing me down. I'm not gonna, like for the past, I think maybe two days or so. Like, I've just been like, I don't know. And God is like, be coming down. But you know, in that whole, when the whole thing is just happening, everything is just happening, your, your mind seems not to be hearing be coming down. It, it looks like somebody has to stand in front of you and say, young lady, be coming down. Then it will sound like it was. <laughs> oh my, see, God is too, too faithful. And that's how far God can go for the, for his children. That's how far God can go for his children. He, he would use anything and any mode and any, I mean, to speak to you, where you don't tell you, say, he won't talk for you. He didn't say, yeah, he didn't say, yeah, don't block. He goes sound now as much as he can do. That's what God does when you have a relationship with him and he wants the best for you. He wants you to get it right. He will do these kinds of things that he's doing. So I'm glad that you came live. I'm so happy <laughs> that you came live today. Oh my God. See, God is truly faithful and he keeps his word. He keeps his promises. All we need to do is trust the process. We really, really need to trust the process. Yeah, so it's okay. guarding your affairs with discretion. Sometimes yeah. we, we don't even guard our affairs with discretion. Now we the carol muggles to wait in the out and then we we'll start getting into troubles that would have not been no troubles that right. would have not no existed what the ones because we're not doing discreetly we're not doing the things discreetly god has told you something the thing is still supposed to be an incubator before you can bring an outside like when it's fully formed but, but you don't talk and here talk and there talk and there talk and there talk and there oh before you know it wait then wait they for deal they don't start fight you fight you here the enemy is fighting you there we you know we get clue about it you know now you don't carry okay, those let me, spread out let me say something about this one right I remember, I remember i was back from right, right so there was this guy in my church so the parents were here in the u.s so it seemed they were they were making his documents to come to the u.s right oh my god so he had told the whole church that he was hey. coming to the u.s oh okay. so now so now he had his advanced level so he said that so they said, okay, why he's he's waiting? Let him go to UB. They said, no, 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 I'm going to the US. Blah, 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 blah. One year passed. I'm going to the US. Two years passed. Do you know as, <laughs> do, 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 do you know as, he, he's still back home. He never came to the US. He never went oh to the my US. God. Because he was waiting for Doctor. 
Oh my God. Now you carry a mogul spreader. God never tell you to spread. God never tell you to tell nobody. Now you carry a mogul. Back to the night. Start fight back to the way you know they're ready. If they bump in premature, they're not putting for incubator. They put it for normal environment. Think they'll start doing it. And they begin to end up dying. I'm telling you, can you imagine? Hey God. Oh and it will now be like God, God doesn't like God doesn't uh, um uh, speak. And maybe God had not even told him. God has said you go to America, but God had not told him the date. And then he has just because his parents are working some documents and documents, so he just takes that one now. Like this should be the thing. You know how we are now. You know how we look at things physically. We calculate the logic. Then we put our two and two together. <laughs> when you go put two and two together, I know you go no say no be by putting two and two together. He took every opportunity what? now. Like he tell I'm telling you. Oh, oh, go to UOP. Oh, go to this. No, 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 no. I'm soon going to the US. I'm soon going to the US. I'm soon going to the US. I'm soon. Oh my God. Me. Yes. See you over there. May God never, help us not never to, went to the not to do never did any this was just waiting. Like do something while you are waiting. When they think oh, don't yeah. you have something in your hand. Be useful uh, while you're, you're waiting. And so some of us we that's how we do it. We don't do anything. <clears throat> I was saying I always giving this example that if you hear today today let's say you're sitting here today and then um a prophecy comes that oh you're going to travel to japan or something you don't find out how much going to japan is maybe cost you don't have your passport you don't do you you sit you are not doing nothing nothing you and then and maybe they say you're going to um, japan this year prophecy came out you're going to japan this year you don't find you out nothing about japan you just see it your passport will fall for your hand. The money for transport will fall for your hand. Your visa will fall for your hand. Like, seriously? I mean, and that's what some people really do. Eh? The Lord will provide. So, 2023 go come pass now. Hey, that man of God, a fake man of God. He be saying, I go travel, go Japan the year. Now, in this, the year don't can finish. What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> Aside from walking around and telling everybody that who cares to listen that the prophecy has come out that you're going to Japan. How much for go Japan? Japan, you don't know. The visa, the, the take visa for go Japan and for say, you don't know. Passport safe, you don't get. Even that one, you know, even struggle to make. Now the Japan where you know, wait, put that top with tea. I'm telling you, like nothing. Where can you even go and search about something? You know, like, Nothing. Some people don't just want to do nothing. Nothing during that process. They only want to spread the news. Discretion, small discretion, they no get. Or even going back to God and say, Lord, you say I'm going to Japan this year. What do I need to do? What you say God will tell you the steps. Like right. honestly, you think he wants want you confused. He will give you the steps. He will tell you, maybe I want you to go through school. Maybe I want you to go through work. Maybe I want you to go through, I don't know, just anything. He will tell you. So that you know now how to be putting your things in place. Like, okay, let me go and do research now. God has said I'm going back through school. Let me go and do research on schools. Which kind of schools are in Japan? What what do they do? Like, what documents do they need? And stuff like that. Some of us, small discretion, so we we'll not get. We don't have. May God help us. And he says, um, surely he shall not be moved. Why would you not be moved? You know God's track record, right? You know God's track record. How do we trust people? Even the normal people that we trust. We know what they've been doing for us. We know what they've done to us before, before, before. Then you're going to talk to this person and then the person gives their word and you know that, oh, this one, they've been giving their word and they stand. So if they give their word, now they'll stand. God is bigger than men. And some of these men, like we human beings, natural things could happen to make you not to be able to do. Mm -hmm. Imagine that somebody promised that they're going to come and visit you 2019. They'll visit you in 2020. COVID happens. All, all places were banned. Travel distance were banned. 
that's failing you in a technical way but it's because it's human because if god be one time you go for that 2020 you will go for 2020 even with covid mm -hmm. that's the difference with man and god there are some things that can still hold man back even when man keeps his promises even when man is man that says things that they say but god he cannot fail and how do you trust him yeah his track record is in the bible Yes, so sometimes I always say, God help us because the people of old, the people whom we are reading about in the Bible, they had no example, but they held on like I mean, they held on until some of them were holding on and dying without seeing the promises, but they were holding on. God, well, that's how I want to be. That is the way I want to trust you. That's the way I want to rely on you. That's the way I want to depend on you. I mean, these people had no example at all. No one was not a carpenter. No one would have said, oh, if you already learned some small, small carpentry work. So he was not a carpenter. You build a, an ark that is supposed to carry all animals. And of course, that ark was not only for the animals. It was supposed to have carried everybody who accepted, which meant he could have been building that ark with the number of people who are on earth in mind. Mm -hmm. Hey, God. And he went on and was beating it like Christmas. Rain never ever fall. They tell you say rain never can fall so night, the time now, 40 days, 40 nights. Calculate and save now. Check him. No, check him. You said check him. How will I would check one put logic to all team? If it don't make sense, we are not doing. <laughs> Plenty of God, it didn't know make sense. Oh, <laughs> my darling, it doesn't. It 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 doesn't make sense. It won't like, make sense. Many of God's things will not just make sense. They will not like, make, just, make sense at all. I just read this morning, um, Genesis chapter twelve, that God told Abraham, "Go to a place I will show." I'm like, <laughs> God, like, I still want that today. Oh God, if you tell me. I will show Abra, no, I don't get it. I don't get issue with God says I will show my people. No, Abra, I'm so I'm just kukuma, just speak here right there. Just go, I will show you. Just, I'm telling you, in a fashion, I will show you. East again will show you. I don't know what I get from East West. Or what I mean, I'm just picking on a crazy kind of thing, honestly. Say, God, you say you go show me now. I go try to go, you go show me. Just went, 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 went. I mean, sometimes, sometimes, something comes to my mind that sometimes we do not just have to trust God alone, sometimes God needs to trust us. Oh, yeah. That's true. That's what, that's what he said. Have you considered my servant Job? You know, he was bragging. He was just having some, some oh, yeah. bragging, you know. He put my rest below high. He said, Do you know my servant? My rest high. <laughs> he, because, because now, now, if you trust Job, then Job will not because I got to trust him. As oh, yeah. well as Job me, I as well trust him. But sometimes I'm, I'm like praying that like God help me get to that place where you can trust me. Trust me with everything, Lord. I, I, that I need that. Sit and just fold your arms and just say, I trust this girl. She's not gonna do that. Oh yeah. He knows she's not gonna do that because they've come to that level where. The trust is the problem. I trust you and you trust me. Yeah, and you trust me. Lord, help me. Help me, oh. Help this year, baby. Yeah. Hey. Sometimes it's not easy. Like, we'll just say it and it's just like, oh, yeah, it comes. When the thing comes. I say, I used to say sometimes that by now, so I've not been a short sleep. Because I, you know how we used to pray, um, when we're baby prayer, you know the baby prayer I'll pray. Lord, if I do this thing again, cut my hand. 
I said, now I'm within a short sleeve. We don't wipe, wipe. <laughs> See, yeah, you cannot understand. So maybe prayers I used to pray when I just became born again, and you know, but understand. If God be the answer that prayer, then today I will be in a short sleeve. <laughs> God cut my hand. God take this one. God do this one. God take my one leg. Take my this. <laughs> one does. I think you understand where we we got those things from. I cannot be. See, mommy, Z without knowledge. That's what they call that, you know. Say Z without knowledge. You did just the talk. You did just the show way words like, go take this one. I, because you know, for your heart, eh, some place where I had the taste, eh, you know, if you do them again, then eh, you don't make less than that time one month. You find yourself inside eh. That, that's when the enemy used to guilt trip me. That forgiving myself. It was so hard because I'm like, God, I cannot believe that I embarrassed you again like that. I cannot believe that I failed you. Me, me. I cannot believe that I did this thing again. God, how? How? How could I do this again? This well with Mommy. the righteousness. Mommy, Mark, do, do, do you are quiet? It's getting you uncomfortable, right? I think we are talking too much. <laughs> Speak, speak to our lives, woman of God. What is going on? She's just, I'm telling you. She's just being quiet. She's oh screen. no! I'm, I'm, I'm in, yeah. I'm in so much contemplation, and you know, I'm. Uh, it's really with the part of God trusting you, and I just realize that the more He trusts, education for me, and I don't think. Oh, so, I, I mean, I, I wrote it myself that I'm becoming more and more quiet because I am like in awe of what God is doing and oh, I just yeah. realized that I don't want to embarrass him, I don't want to mess up, so I don't have much to say. And, you know, when I went to the village this time, I didn't tell you that part. That was, you know, when you read bad news does not affect you. Actually, it was a good thing that I went because when I went there the last time, somebody who is there from my village, an IDP from my village, he kind he wanted to patronize me, and he was now telling my mama, the mama that the Lord sent me to in that village, that I am his sister, and that she was sick, and none of her tribe people could take her to the hospital. Only his sister could come and take him to the hospital. Uh, mm. La 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 la. Yes, and you know how in that village they deal with problems. Everybody just stopped talking to each person. So my mom was not talking to the whole of that family now, not only that oh man. And the man, the man forbade the whole family from coming. Hey, Veronically, that man is the first man. <coughs> that man is the first oh man who came to mama's house to greet me. You know, he, he came to mama's house to greet me like there was nothing. And I did not know mama was not there. So I, I was un, uneasy with the way he was too friendly with me. And then now when he left, Mama came back and I was telling Mama that I was. Mama said, what did he come to do here? And so Mama was telling me the story now and I was telling Mama that, well, I'm going to tell that man that he cannot find I'm telling in his you. village. And he should not even try to do that. And then I, I, I went to that family and I made peace and I invited them over to Mama's house because they're actually like family with Mama, even though extended. That man uh -huh. is from my my village and he just went as an IDP and now he's living with, with their mother. You know, this come with state thing. So it's a complex situation. And then he wants to put me now in that mix. I want I to me to start he's telling me that he knows the people so I should listen to him more when he tells me something. And I was just like, if you even knew who brought me to this village, you know I listen only yeah. to God. You know who told me? So who are you? Oh my God. So I prayed and I and I and I prayed and I said the Lord should humble him very well and he has to go back and apologize to Mama. I know I'm going to be careful with him. He's not my brother, not because we are from oh, yeah. the same village. Oh yes, it, that's what Jesus said. Now somebody asked him that, yes. who is your brother and your sister and your what what what? He said this one. So he didn't call by his biological parent. He said these ones are around me. These ones that are going on with me. Those are my father, my mother, my brethren. Those are the ones. Ah, so maybe people don't get a mixed up. Oh. Come and bring I, issues where they're not supposed to be issues because of greed. No. 
But I, I stood firm, you know. I did not let it. I did not let it trouble my heart. Like they say it, that he's not afraid uh, of bad news. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. I yes. trusted the Lord, and God talked to me about one of their sons. I've not spoken me to any of them, or like to know their story and all of those things. But the Lord told me, and then when I went to talk. They called the person a mad person. I called her and said, I just want to talk to you about your son. Be careful. And that is what the Lord also told me that she's going to lose this one too if she continues to allow him to go and be hanging around with those people. Oh and my that, God. They are also just poisoned. Are you hearing? I didn't know. But the Lord told me. If she's not careful, she will also lose this one. I did not know how many children she had. I did not know nothing about her. Oh my God. So we need to be very, very careful. Very we sensitive. Need yeah. careful. Honestly, we need to be careful. And I really need to get to that place where God can trust me and just be releasing and doing and saying, okay, my daughter, you have been faithful in one. Let me take another one and add to you. You have been faithful in this. Let me take this and add to you. Because that's how it goes. That's how God does it. He says, I'll give you little. Who who will give somebody little and the person doesn't take good care of it and then they'll come and add more on it? Nobody. The person will only come and see that you've done well with the first one that they gave you. Then they'll want to add more. That's how it works. So you think God will come and give you little and say you should use it. He'll give you one talent. You carry the one talent, you Chakaram, do do your kind kind thing, and they then you come and now give you more. No, the one who had five talents did well, the one who had two talents did well. So they took the one that had one talent and gave it to the one who had five. That's how God keeps giving you when when He can trust you, He knows that He gives you this one, you do well with it. He gives you this one, you do well with it. He'll keep giving you because He knows you're going to do well. He said to Moses that I am doing these things for Moses and I am showing whatever I'm showing to Moses because I know that He's going to teach His children. He's going to teach his generation upon generation my things. That's why God was giving him. Because God knew that the thing was going to last. God looks at the, the longevity of the thing. He wants the thing to last for a longer time. But some people are just so short-sighted. Now, 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 now mentality that they are losing the long-sighted things. May the good Lord help us in Jesus' name. And so the next um, says, it says... His life is established and he's not afraid until he sees the desires upon his enemies. So sometimes it's not only the desires that you want for yourself that you see. You also see the desires of your, of your heart on your enemies. Because of course, sometimes there are some enemies that they just need to be dealt with. Ah, There's just no way. Because there are some people that have totally and completely made up their minds that they, they will fast and not eat until uh, you die. Until they deal with you. They did it for Apostle Paul. People took 40 mm -hmm. days and 40, was it 40 days or 49? To fast. So that they were going to deal or kill Apostle Paul. So there are some of those people that God needs to deal with you. Mm. He will deal with them. And you will see how he will deal with them. He will make you watch it. He will make you see how he will deal with them. So don't bother. It doesn't matter who is doing all those things to you. Just be praying and handing over them to God. God, they say vengeance is the Lord, right? And when he's the one doing the vengeance, he will do it perfectly. He will do it better than you can ever even think or, or aspire to do. So when you go to him and say, Lord, vengeance is your hand over this person to you. Leave the person for the Leave the, No try for fix her. No try for do her. No try for show God how to do the vengeance. Just leave her for the May God to do the vengeance. Yes. yes. And you'll be in awe of what God can do. <laughs> you'll be in awe of what God can do. Child of God, I can assure you. And he says, um, he had dispersed, he had dispersed, he had given to the poor. His righteousness endured forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. Of course, some of these things, say, then they are, as much as they are spiritual, they are also natural parts of the things. When why why 
Dukas's goodness was not in her heart. That's why people could say what she had been doing when she died. God, don't kill this woman. She's the one who did this. She's, there were things that she did physically to people. That's why they could say it. So what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing for the kingdom of God that someone can say, hi, God, you cannot do this. You cannot take princess away. Or someone is in their room praying that, Lord, continuously bless this princess. Continuously bless my Melvis. Continuously bless Minister Mark because of this one little thing that they did. Yes, it is it's true that it's God who gave you the ability and the power to do it. There are people that God has given the ability and the power and are not doing it. That's the difference with you and that person. Because sometimes we overlook what we do. We like we underrate it. We underrate what we do. There are some people that still have that same ability, that same gift, that same thing that God has given to you. He has given to them, but they are not doing it. So that well, you so are doing it to something. Start and then you stop very early, you know, like the seed that falls on the wayside yeah. and all of That's that. True. Yeah. Because there are so many adversities, princess, so many trials, so many challenges. I'm telling you, you know, I, 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 I literally saw it this morning in church on Sunday. I saw it this morning in church in, in, in somebody, and I looked and they, they looked at me, the eyes were fear, and I said, In the mighty name of Jesus, the two of us cannot stay in this place today. And I bent my and I started praying. Oh, and when I lifted up my head and turned behind, they had gone out. Yes, yes, he could. Like, uh, after all, could. people have told me that, no, nah, they don't have good feelings about that place. Don't go there again. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, imagine. It could. It could scare you away. And you, if it scared you away now, that would be the difference with someone that does not run away. Because God has told them that this is where I want you to be and they will be there till the end. They will be there till the end. So he does this thing Things. He takes care of uh, uh, um, the poor. His righteousness is forever. His heart will be exalted. It's natural. It's normal. When you're helping the poor, when you're helping the needy, when you're doing all these things, those people talk to God on your behalf. Those people cry out to God for your behalf. Those people, they are rejoicing and God is seeing the smile on their faces. It's on your behalf. When they say you're building your castles in heaven, you think you're building the castles with what? Oh, you buy some air of heaven, eh? No. Is this things that you're doing now? The things that God is leading you to do and you're doing them. If Dukas wasn't doing those things, if it remained only in her mind, only in her heart, well, I want to do good there. Eh? I really want to help people here. Eh? And he, she never ever did the good. You think somebody will come and be standing on behalf of her and saying that, oh, Dukas was a good woman. Oh, she was thinking about helping us. Huh? How do you think about it? <laughs> <laughs> it's on very easy about it. Says, after the 40 days fasting, nothing was Nothing was mentioned about them again. They all died because Paul, of course, fulfilled his days. That's the thing, oh. That's the whole point. There are some people that uh, God needs to deal with them on your behalf. Johan, therefore, God, leave them. And Paul himself said nothing about them. When they came and told Paul that these people have sat for 40 days and 40 nights and they have said that they, they will not eat until Paul is dead, Paul didn't say nothing about them. He could as much as just decree some things upon their lives and it would have worked. He didn't bother. He just looked for a way and left because the Holy Spirit told him that, leave that place. Now it's your time to leave. And he left. That's how it is. So, so we really need to have this connection with God, this relationship with God that we have this perfect connection that we don't miss out on the things that God is telling us. We don't miss out on the things that God wants to do with us. It is in the doing it is in the doing, honestly. It's not just in the hearing. It's not just in the believing. It's not just in the knowing. It is in the doing. A lot of things are in the doing. So begin to do those things that God is telling you to do. Do they look crazy? Do they look weird? Do they look absurd? Just trust God. Trust God, people of God. And you'll be in awe of what God can do in your life. You'll be sure. 
shocked. You'll be amazed of what God can do in your life. So, guys, this is about where we're wrapping up with a chapter a day for today. It has been an excellent one. I mean, God has spoken to me personally a whole lot today. A whole lot. Repeating things over and over and over because he knew that I needed to hear it. That's how much God loves us. That's how far God can go for the sake of his children. Not, not just through one person, through several people. And he's saying the same things. Same things. Different words. The same things. He's been saying to me the entire day of today. Then where else would I go if I don't stick to God? But where else would I go? Nowhere else. So let's pray today that God should help us to trust the process. Yeah, like because from every indication, from the some of the stories that we've said today, from some of the lessons that um, Minister Mark brought, some of the lessons that um, Mam Tipa Melvis brought, is the same thing. Some of us who don't trust the process, some of us who don't depend, we don't trust God fully like that. So. We don't want to wait. Some of us will think like God is too slow and then we end up going to the wrong set of places and then we get into much, much trouble. So let's pray. Father, we come before your throne of grace, oh God, that you're going to give us the grace to trust the process. Lord, we know it's not easy. It's never easy, but it's always worth it. When they put the nails through your hands, when they pierced your sides, it wasn't easy, but it was worth it. So to Lord, help us, oh God. Give us the grace to carry our cross and follow you. Give us the grace, oh God, to trust you and depend on you. Give us the grace to rely on you fully, totally and completely, oh God. That no matter what the enemy pushes at us, we will not bulge, we will not waver, we will not falter, we will not be moved, oh God, because we know that you are a faithful father because we know that you never fail because we know that when you say it it comes to pass because your word can never go out and come back the same it can never go and come back for it it always accomplishes the purpose of which it is said lord help us to believe that like our lives depended on it because it does thank you heavenly father for hearing and answering us for in jesus name we pray amen amen and amen Guys, I always get to say I love you so very much because I love you way, way more. Get to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get all our updates each time we go live, like right, right now, or we upload a video so that you can enjoy. Hooray! We have our audio Bible on one more platform, Instagram. So we have our audio Bible on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. We started with the New Testament on Instagram, and we already have the entire book of Matthew on the Instagram. So if you have a 28-day challenge, it could be listening to a chapter of the Bible every single day. That is going to be a beautiful one so guys i'm really really grateful that you all were here tomorrow by the grace of god is going to be another day it'll be psalms 113 read ahead of time and by the grace of god we'll be here tomorrow for another special moment together this chapter is lately kind of short and interesting but like i said like a joke we're here for almost two hours you always see these short chapters and you begin to think like we'll just be here for like 30 minutes and we're done and dusted and we're off you know but before you know it god is just releasing releasing rema left right from back and center thank you all for really really being here i really do appreciate you thank you that god sent you here you didn't refuse you didn't hold back you didn't um restrain yourself you went ahead and did what you had to do i've been blessed so much and i've heard god clearly so lord help me i believe help my own belief <laughs> so guys let's go lord we thank you for today we thank you for your word we thank you for all that you've said to us help us to not only be hearers of your word but be doers of the word because the blessings come in the doing so lord give us the grace and the strength and all that it takes and all that is necessary oh god for us to do the things that you want us to do and do it the way you want us to do it we love you lord and we'll always do father we pray that you're going to cause your word to be engrafted on the fleshy tables of our hearts in 
we're going to live thereby and so that we're going to be living epistle right of man thank you heavenly father for hearing us grant us good night rest you say you give your beloved sleep let's sleep sound and sweet and by your grace we'll get up tomorrow to start up with all the amazing activities that you have for us i will pray for those who are just starting their day that you're going to give them an awesomely blessed day and for those who are halfway their day you're going to bless the remaining part of their day all for your glory grant us dreams and visions just like you say your young men should dream dreams and the old men shall see visions let that be a practical reality in our lives today and always for in jesus name we pray amen amen and amen until tomorrow ciao ciao mm -hmm. <clears throat> love you guys bye